Okay, guys, I just want to use this opportunity to show you a walkthrough on the Tutorial dashboard. Um, as soon as you log in or you complete your registration on the Tutorial platform, this is where this is basically the first page you get to see. So, as you can see from the from the from the dashboard page, you have a graph that shows you you know your performance, like your page performance. Your sales reports and all of these things are um, generated within the past six months of your activities so we also have information with regards to your plan the total number of sales your storage capacity because as you upload videos those videos take up space so how do you get to know the total amount of video space in megabytes that you've consumed that is exactly what the storage used explains or shows then you also have the total number of course that you've published, your enrolled students, and total paid visits. So that is what, uh, those are some of the quick glance information that you get to see as soon as you, you log into your landing page on tutorial.com. Okay, so there are so many other things you can be able to do within the Tutorly dashboard, but um as the walkthrough continues we are going to be uploading specific videos that demonstrate just how um, you can get certain things done for example you may decide that okay you want to create a new course how do you do that you want to make your withdrawals to your account um, your bank account how do you do that um you want to update your websites maybe you don't like how things are you want to tweak things a little you want to add a different section we are going to be making video walkthroughs on exactly how to accomplish some of these specific goals. But for the purpose of this video, let me just show you at a glance some of the things you can see when you log into tutorial.com via the, on the dashboard. So as you can see here, you get to see the different themes that we have on Tutorly. Then you can also update your site settings. So things like your logo, your, five, um, your website icon, your personal information, and your social media links. These are some of the things you can be able to do here. Okay, so then you can click on my courses. You get to see all the different courses that um, I, I have created. Then you can decide that, okay, you want to create a new course. Okay. This is how you make a new course on Tutorly. Let's go back then if i want to see the details of a particular course this is where i can get to see that then i can decide that okay i want to add more modules add more course units to different modules on the course you can see things relating to payments and you can easily make a withdrawal to your bank account okay so then you get to see other information relating to your withdrawals and also the payment that is coming in and the withdrawals that you make. Then we also have the notifications part where you get to see generally any activities that relate to you. So when students start, start enrolling in your school, you get the notification here. When they purchase courses, you get the notification here. When they make comments, they leave replies on specific courses that they are working on or viewing, you also get the notifications here and, and you can easily make a reply or reply students who are taking part in any course or any of the videos that they are viewing okay so then we have um, plans and subscription so if you feel like a particular subscription that you are using is not enough for you at the moment you can easily upgrade to a different one then have the billing and information where you get to add your card update your card and so on so let me quickly show you what we have on the settings page so the settings page basically this is where you get to update information that you you created um, when you initially registered for the platform so i think this is about it with the totally dashboard